Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of the Atari Texas YouTube channel. Well it's Friday night and as promised I'm sporting my Canelo Alvarez and Chavez Jr. fight. Possibly the worst pay-per-view fight within at least the last few years. I mean it was like taking my $70 and just throwing it out the window. It was such a wasted fight but I'm wearing it. My brother was nice enough to send me so I'm going to go ahead and wear it. Uh, the reason Beatrice is all dressed up and why I haven't changed yet is, like I said, it's Friday night here in the desert of West Texas. So what do we do for fun on a Friday night? <laughs> we go to Dollar General. Dollar General's open till midnight, so that's our big plans, unfortunately. So, But anyways, what I want to do today is uh, I want to show you some of my PlayStation 1 long box collection. Now, I don't specifically collect for the PlayStation 1. Uh, when the PlayStation 1 came out when I was a young adult, I was mostly playing and collecting for the uh, Sega Saturn, so... But uh, recently I, I do have, I did get a, a PlayStation 1, I've had it for about a few years. I don't purposely go out searching for these games. If I run across them, you know, when I'm at a flea market or a garage sale, I'll grab them if the price is right. But mostly what I collect is just long boxes, because I just think they look so cool. What are long boxes? Well, there was two types of PlayStation 1 games. One came in like, kind of looked like a little CD case, and then you had the long boxes, which is a lot like the Sega Saturn, big, big long box. Some are made out of cardboard, some have the, the plastic that can crack on it, but... Anyway, the first one I got, and this one I believe I picked up at a yard sale, um, it's Crazy Ivan. Um, it's a first-person shooter game. Um, you know, I would rate it, if you haven't played this before, I would rate it probably a 6 out of a 10. I mean, it's it's alright. I mean, it holds your attention for a little bit, but uh, I don't think the replayability is there much. I've, I've only played this a couple times and ended up putting it away there. So, once again, that is Crazy Ivan. And does he look crazy? Yes. <laughs> he looks like you when you're mad. Well, he might. <laughs> <laughs> alright, next we have NFL Game Day from PlayStation. Um, for the PlayStation. Um, I love football games. Um, this one not so much, but you know it's not bad. Um, it's it's hard to play football games when you got games that are out on the PlayStation Four or Xbox One, which are just just blows anything previous away. So um, it's not a bad game. It's pretty fun. Once again, I'll give this a six out of ten if you haven't played it before. Now the next two games um, I found. And a Goodwill in a, in a small town called Marble Falls, which is in Texas. I was just going through there one day. Said, hey, there's a Goodwill. I'm going to stop in there. I and love I, Marble Falls. And it's a beautiful town if you've ever been there. And um, I found these two games. They were only priced $2.99 each. Uh, the first one is the Raiden Project. And this one's a little hard to get. And it's, it's kind of expensive on eBay. So let, you know, I got a really good deal on it. This is a fabulous game. If you have never played Raiden Project, you don't know what you're missing. I mean, it's a great shooter. Lots of fun. I mean, I just just, just love it. And uh, I would rate this a 9 out of 10 if you haven't played it before. So, you know, maybe we'll fire up the PlayStation after Dollar General and uh, I'll give it a try. See if you like it. The other game I got for $2.99 at that Goodwill was Ridge Racer. Fantastic racing game. Uh, this one holds up pretty well even to the, by today's standards. A uh, lot of fun. Definitely love racing with this game. And this one I would give an 8 out of 10 if you haven't played it before. I love racing games. Me too. Racing games and, and shooters are, are my favorites. Yeah. Next is uh, Destruction Derby. I want to say I found this at a Goodwill also or some type of thrift store. Um, I didn't have high hopes for this game when I got it when I was looking at the back of it. You know, I never, I don't, I haven't played it before or anything like that. But it's, it was surprisingly fun. I mean, it's exactly what the title says. It's a destruction derby. If you love smashing cars, smashing things, this is a great game. And I would give this an 8 out of 10 if you haven't played it before. Remember when we went to a demolition derby? Oh my demolition god. Demolition derbies are great. If you've never been to one, check them out. Yes, I love them. My favorite. And then last but not least, I think I got this maybe for a buck at a garage sale, if I remember right. Um, it's Top Gun. Um, I don't know what else to say. You know, Top Gun on pretty much all the, all the systems usually aren't very good. I, I would give this one a 3 out of a 10. So, uh, you know, it's up to you if you want to get one. Like I said, I think this one was only a buck. So I went ahead and got it there. So, But it's one of those, just by my opinion, I, I just played once and 
He didn't want to go back to it. Have you ever seen Top Gun the movie? Yes, with Tom Cruise. Yeah, I think that was when he was like the hottest with the sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, I just wanted to give a quick video of my meager PlayStation 1 long box collection. Like I said, I, I don't collect for it, um, but if I do run across it while I'm out in the wild searching for games, I'll grab one if the price is right. Um, I got to get changed. Dollar General's calling. But let me just point one thing out. Um, a few weeks ago, I went to San Antonio, and I go to this candy store. They sell candy from all over the world. If you haven't seen these before, I bought some uh, Kit Kats that come from Japan. Um, there's a strawberry flavor. If you've never had this before, it's really good. And then there's a Kit Kat flavor uh, that's got sake in it. And they actually ID'd me when I, when I bought this bag. You do got to be 21. You do have to be 21 to buy this. I don't know. So if I've had a couple. Um, I was still able to walk straight afterwards, so I don't think it's very strong. There's also a green tea flavor, which I highly recommend. So, if you ever get a chance to try the Kit Kat bars that come from Japan, give them a try. They're really great stuff. Well, that'll end the episode for today. Uh, once again, we thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like our videos. And uh, we hope to see you next time. Bye. Take care.